worm snake. Another worm snake. Whoa. Holy cow! What? I just sitting coiled right under the I see him. He's right here, Jeff. Oh, I see him. Yeah. <laughs> In fact, if you end up catching him, I won't care if you want to take him someplace else. To photograph or, or just to move him? Yeah, I. You know, those nets are actually really handy for catching him. Yeah, yeah, they are, yeah. yeah. I got him. Here he comes. He'll stay. He's not gonna get him in the net. Yeah, there you go. Nice. Yeah, in fact, if you guys don't, it'd be kind of a pain to take him back. I just soon not have a copper, the cotton mouth up here where, uh, yeah. where my kids are sometimes. I just flipped a worm snake. Uh, these are pretty common, but I haven't seen a lot of them. Uh, really cool looking snake. They look cool in shed, actually. There's a worm snake. Got another worm snake. Worm snake. Yeah. Under bark. It's definitely a better day for it today. This one's out of shed, Colton, if you want to see it. You too. Yeah. It's a Midwestern worm snake. Oh, wow. Wait, no, no, no. It's a pale one. They're going to get away. Get He's getting away. The other one, the pale one's getting away. Get him, grab him. They're getting away. <laughs> I thought you I want to see him. You're in hand shot, don't you? Yeah, I want to see him. I just want to see them up close before they get away. Okay, well, like this before I grab That one looks cotton. gravid. That's I'm cool. Noticing a trend of as we move along, more life. Yeah. Ooh. Be free. Be free. How could you? That's an impressive slimy. Guess that was a choice route. Move that over. Good lord. Like on a rock. Here, hold that. Yeah. Put it back. Put it back. Oh, cave salamander. Cam, cave salamander. Cam. How rare is that? I mean, it's pretty cool. We haven't seen one this trip. They're really pretty. We just woke up, we're heading out. We gotta go get rid of Cameron. And we're gonna hit the glade. Whoa! I walked over him! <laughs> Alright, well, I just flipped the first rock of the day and ring neck. And Colton walks right up on this racer that I guess I stepped over because I walked right up to this rock from that hill. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. 
it's weird he's just sitting there like that. I guess he's warming up for the day. Yeah, he's probably cold. Yeah. I'm about to let this ring neck go. We're probably just going to leave this racer sitting as it is because he's warming up for the day and I don't really want to disturb him. So, we see plenty of these. We've seen plenty on the trip. Let's get to finding some milks and kings. And uh, this, I believe, looks a Mississippi ring neck. If I'm not mistaken. But anyway, cool. Two snakes and we haven't even walked into the glade yet. In this little area, because there's a shed here, I'll to see what it is. Try to. I think it's a racer. Kind of hard to tell. Oh, this... Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at all the ring necks, dude. Oh my God. Look at that. Wow. <laughs> Good gracious. <laughs> wow, this is like a little hibernaculum right here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Seems like for the first time this entire trip, we've actually gotten into some decent snake numbers. Nice handful of Mississippi ringnecks under one rock. We're about to put them back. I'll get back to it. Glad to see some more snakes. We got this nice big shed here from something. All right, Colton just flipped a rough earth snake. Probably the first of many that we're gonna see. So, gotta let him go and keep moving. This is also a lifer for Colton. So, cool beans. Whoa, coach whip, dude. Holy cow. What? It's a baby. That's a really good find for Missouri. <laughs> wow. It's like, that's a weird speckled king. <laughs> wow, he's in deep in shed, so he's not pretty at all, but yo, that's so cool. We got our target technically for Missouri. It's not a pretty one, but it's a, it's a baby. Nice. <laughs> that's pretty epic. Yeah. All right, so that's the weirdest way I've ever flipped a coach whip. It was under this rock slab sitting on top of this little rock ledge here. Baby Eastern coach whip. That was our complete number one target for Missouri, hands down. Uh, Cause as adults around here, they can get this nice, beautiful red on their tail. It's kind of like a pink color. And uh, you don't really see that in any other parts of the Eastern's range. So it's really neat, but this guy's deep in shed. And on top of that, he's also a baby. So he's not the prettiest one, but still, we found our target species because they're not a very common snake in Missouri at all. So I'm happy. He's like playing dead now, but heck yeah, I'm probably gonna, I didn't bring my camera. What was I thinking? We might need to go back and get it. But yeah, there he is. I'm gonna keep moving and uh, maybe we'll see something else. All right, guys, we're gonna let this little in shed coach whip go. Super cool to see him. Wish he was out of shed, but you can't complain about that when it's your target species. I'll put him back under his rock. Fix it a little bit. There we go. Let him get back to heating up for the day and probably hunting some ringnecks. Super weird place to flip a uh, coach whip. There's a racer right here. I got a racer. I got a racer. It's a funky looking racer. It's kind of blue. All right, Colton just found a little box turtle. I found this nice, beautiful blue racer up there on the bluff. So, like Colton's walking down here in this little creek. I don't know what kind of box turtle this is. It could be a three toed, I think. Or I don't know what we're in the range of. I think it's a three toed. Yeah, beautiful racer. Look at that. Oh yeah, he does. Wow. He looks like vibrant blue on camera. Yeah, it's really picking it up. Well, that's cool. I was just walking up here on top of this nice bluff. Garter snake came zipping past me. That's cool. It's just an eastern garter. Ones we're used to seeing. But uh, it looks a good bit different from the ones back home. So, always nice to see. Love those yellow stripes. Salamander. Snake shed. snake. It's a 
racer. <laughs> there was a snake. Most most place we've been has had flip rocks. Yeah. Think <laughs> 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 uh, rough earth. Scorpion, ring neck. Typical suspect. Go over there. Bring Nick. Here's a nice little triple flip. Got a big ring neck, I saw that one first, and then some little dudes over here. Finally, it took long enough. I didn't even get the flip clip, but that's okay. That's pretty. That's my life respect with King Snake. Oh really? Yep. All right, that's my life respect with King. It took long enough, but we finally got one. It's all right. I'd rather work for it than not. What a pretty little snake. Now the ones we saw earlier in the trip were what's known as the Shawnee King Snake. We saw some Black Kings in Tennessee, but the ones we saw yesterday were Shawnee King Snakes, and. Um, those are like an integrate between the the black and the speckled, but this is a pure blood speckled, this pure blood speckled king snake. It's a tongue twister. Uh, very beautiful. You can tell one big difference when they're this size. That well, these are, overall have more speckles, and also their belly is bright yellow, and that's gonna have way more yellow than black. Very cool. All right, we're gonna let this beautiful little king snake go because we need to go pick up Cameron and also. We are drowning in ticks. There's literally ticks crawling on the snake while I'm trying to photograph it. And they're like all over me and all over Colton. So, one more look at it. Nice ventral. Beautiful snake. But he needs to go back because his tick friends are um, quite obnoxious. There you go, bud. Awesome snake and awesome location to find it. This place is beautiful. Mm -hmm.